Here it goes, and... Oh! Hello, YouTube! Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Brick Rigs, and today we are going to be checking out some amazing creations, and you're looking at one of them right now. This is called the Micro World 2. This is by Kylus Wireless, and we've checked out some mini worlds and brick rigs, but nothing quite like this. This thing is 19,000 bricks. It is absolutely massive. It's really detailed. And of course, you know, Bob's gonna blow it up. <laughs> so before we drop a nuke on the micro city, we're gonna go in and check it out. But if you guys are excited for some more brick rigs on the channel and wanna see more, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. So I guess we're gonna start at the corner of the map. There seems to be some sort of Arctic zone. It looks like you've got like a port over here. Uh, you can see the smoke rising, probably some sort of cooling towers. Uh, one really cool thing about the map is the whole fact that you see airplanes in the sky. That's really awesome. Uh, you go over here, there's like a little uh, lighthouse. Looks like we have a little snowy village. Uh, you've got a mountain range over here. By the way, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, 19,000 bricks. This thing is laggy. Uh, so good luck for most people spawning it. But once it settles, it seems to actually run pretty decent. So if we go through here, it looks like we have farmlands. Uh, you can see all the fields over here. There's like a little tower, maybe like a cell phone tower or something. Uh, then you head into the desert, uh, which is kind of a smaller biome. Looks like there's a couple things over here. I'm not really 100% sure what that might be. Maybe there's a small little village in ruins. You got like a little uh, island out here. And then there's a couple uh, pyramids out here too in the desert. And then we swing around. We have a forest area. Uh, you still have like another lighthouse on this side. Is there anything down in here? Uh, this is ridiculous how detailed this thing is, and what the heck is this? Feels like this is something that's supposed to be... Wait, actually, does it light up? There we go. Alright, we have lights. Actually, really quick, what does this look like at night? Dude, that is so cool looking. Look how bright the city is. That's amazing. Alright, let's switch back to the day. So yeah, there's some lights out in the forest. And then it looks like you go over to one of the cities here. This is like a smaller city, even though there is a little skyscraper in here. Kind of travel through here, and then looks like we could skip over to what appears to be the airport area. Uh, you can kind of get a good view of that. And then we could skip over another lighthouse and town area over here. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Like, I feel like there might be a secret or two. Oh, there's a little watchtower over there. That's cool. Uh, there's a little bridge over here. You got like a river running through. Uh, there's some wind turbines up there. And then we come around to the big city. Let's go ahead and go through it real quick. That is so detailed. Like, you can see the little roads in there. Oh, it's so adorable. Too bad we're going to have to blow it up. Well, let's go through here. Uh, it's starting to lag a lot because of the lights. Uh, not bad. Uh, there's like a weird little village out here. Maybe it's like a little resort. Uh, you've got that. And then we can head over here. And there's another island in city. And what appears to be maybe like a either a mountain or there could be like a temple or something over here. And you have like these little villages out here too. So this is also going to tie into some other Kylos Wireless creations. Uh, there's a world that we're going to blow up. But we got to take this thing out. So let me stand up real quick just to give you guys an example of how laggy this is. Uh, okay, this is full speed right here, folks. This is me walking around. By the way, Bob's probably going to look giant in this map. Huh? Let's tan him in the city real quick. So this is your Bob scale for the city. Yeah, he's quite massive. Pretty impressive. All right, so what we're going to do here, I've got a couple options. Of course, we could do a carpet nuke, which we're probably going to have to do that because it's so large. But Kylus Wireless does have the sun. <laughs> well, oh, oh, this is bright. All right, so if I spawn this in, I think you're supposed to spawn this in on the space map, but we're going to drop the sun on the city. So I think this would actually be cool to do maybe at sunset. So let's go maybe about, uh, that looks pretty good there. So you're going to have this bright ball fall on the city. Oh, let's put it right over the big city here. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if this thing explodes. Oh, this is bright. Oh, what's this look like from up here? Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and sound the sirens. You can hear everybody panicking in Bricksville. Here comes the sun. Actually, isn't that a song? All right, the sun's coming down. Let's go slow-mo and uh-oh. 
Oh, this might have been a mistake. Uh, wait. I thought it exploded. Um, so the sun, oh no, the sun's just a big ball that's rolling over buildings. <laughs> it took out a couple skyscrapers. Oh, there's a couple things I want to do to the city. Uh-oh. Oh, it just, ex oh no. The sun had a delayed explosion. Oops. Um, oh, it's eating something right now. This is what happens when you explode 19,000 bricks and brick rigs. Uh, this. Oh! Okay, we got another frame. Oh, there's like molten sun raining down on the city right now. That looks incredible. Too bad we didn't have a full frame rate right now. Uh, on, is it taking out... Oh, I think it's actually taking out parts of the big city right now. We'll eventually get the frames to uh, come back here in a second, folks. I think the whole world's gonna be on fire. Okay, the frame rate's coming back a little bit more. Oh, there... Oh, well, it cleared for a second. I thought it was done. Oh, I'm getting little, uh, little big spikes here. And, you know what? Let's pause this real quick. Let's just see if we can pause it and admire it. This is what it looks like. That is awesome looking. So we just crashed the sun. By the way, there's a dead Bob there. We crashed the sun in the city. Oh, look at what it leveled over here. Looks like there's like roads, bridges. Some of the skyscrapers got hit here. Uh, yeah, you can see some of them falling over. That is so cool looking, Han. Go from this side of the map. Oh, you can see the, the glare off the uh, sun in the background. If you go here, this almost makes like an incredible thumbnail. Like, I don't even understand what's going on here. This is the most amazing thing ever. And look at the reflection off the water. All right, let's try to resume from this angle. Yeah, I don't think we're getting this back, folks. So this makes me really, really fear dropping a carpet nuke on this. Uh, and then eventually we're going to go to the space map, but I'm admiring this. Hey, look at this. I think the frame rate's starting to come back. Well, when I say that, it, f like, unfreezes for a couple seconds and then freezes back. Maybe I should remove the sun. There's a chance I should remove that. Here, let's go ahead. I think it's done its damage. Let's scrap the vehicle. Okay, scrap the sun, please. Scrap... Oh, I might be dead. Hold on, I think it's going to scrap here in just a second. All right, we have scrapped the sun. You can see the smoke rising from Bricksville. Uh, let's go ahead and make it daylight real quick. We'll see the damage that it did. You know, it didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Like, it knocked off a good bit of the city here, but the explosion... So when the sun landed, it rolled over to the side and then exploded, so it kind of rolled off the city and took out, like, a part of the airport. No, was this a tunnel over here? I think that was actually roads, and those are gone. It did take out some skyscrapers. If you go down here, you can see the, the road is littered. Okay, well, my computer's gonna hate me for this, but l let's spawn in the carpet nuke. Oh no. Okay, so we're over the city here. Let's go ahead and spawn in the nuke. Which angle does this need to be at? Oh no. Uh, drop it about right here. Let's drop it low. Okay. So you see the little world down here, and you see the big nuke above it. And let's go ahead and resume. Oh, slow it down. Oh, here it comes. Which angle or which side's gonna hit first? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you think the people down in the city are thinking right now? They're probably like, oh, geez. Why do we give Komodo creations like this? Oh, uh, it's going to touch somewhere. Where is it going to hit first? It might hit a plane first, maybe? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's oh, it's frozen. And wait for it. Are we going to get anything back here? Yep, hold on. Sorry that this whole episode is going to be a slideshow, but there's not much I can do here. Okay, we're just going to sit here patiently. I think we broke it. Yeah, there's a good chance. Can we get a, a rip? Komodo's could be. Oh, never mind. No oh, it's coming back. Yep, it's definitely hitting planes first. Huh. You know what? I'm going to try to speed some of this up, and I'm going to play some epic music here. And you can just watch the explosion.
All right, so now that we're away from that laggy mess, I bring you the Earth. This is by Kylus Wireless, and check this thing out. We're in the space map, and it's actually rotating itself. Is it moving? Like, are we moving towards something? I feel like we're kind of moving towards the garage there. It's like the Earth already wants to explode itself. So what you're looking at is Planet Bricksville, and what we're going to do... Actually, we have a Mars too, huh? Let's spawn this one in real quick, and then we're going to try to yeet the sun at the uh, Earth, even though I don't think it's really possible. Uh, let's stick the Mars here. Could you imagine if we had a whole solar system? Uh, all right, is this one? Okay, so the Earth's on. Wait, they look like they're in a collision course with each other. Wait, they're totally about to hit each other. <laughs> it's going to be a really slow speed collision, but still, nonetheless. And you know what? I think this is a perfect time to bring out the orbital cannon, so we might have to bring it out too. Hold on, let's go get the sun. Okay, let's go ahead and place the sun here. And look at this, we have a mini screwed up solar system. I'm pretty sure the Earth's a little too close to the sun and everybody's probably baking alive right now, but this is fine. All right, so we've got all three of these going. Hold on, let's get out of this. All right, we really need to crash something into this. Yeah, it actually looks like they're gravitating towards the sun right now. <laughs> it's like the people of Bricksville already know that they're ready to die. So let's go ahead and grab the uh, orbital cannon, which I'm still sure I've actually got that. All right, and here it is. This is the Veros Orbital Cannon. It's been a while since we've spawned this bad boy in, but we're ready to wreck the planets. So let's go ahead and we're going to spawn in above them here. Let's go ahead and check uh, systems check. There's the, uh, the cannon view. It's a little dark. You can't see the targeting thing, but uh, we're fine. Here we go. Three, two, one. Click them all. Oh, no. On pause it. That made my PC freeze up. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and send it down. Uh, resume. Here it goes. And oh, that was cool again. Uh oh. Uh, oh. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, so it didn't quite explode the earth like I wanted it to, but look at that. It's on fire. It's slowly falling down. The uh, sun completely exploded. Mars? Yeah, Mars is on fire. Uh, let's go full speed here. Oh, it's turning into a comet. Uh oh. What's, wait, what's exploding? Oh, there's something in Mars that explodes. And look at it slowly fall down. Huh, let's try to track the Earth here. Uh, it's slowly burning. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with this. Oh, that's cool looking though. And there it slowly goes down. There's a lot of things we could probably do with this. But I figured, you know what, the orbital cannon, it's kind of an OG creation. I uh, definitely needed to pull that out. And uh, wait, did the fire actually go out on it? Oh, and the Earth's not quite finished. Hmm. I feel like we can punish it more. All right, I told you guys we were going to punish the Earth a little bit more, and here we are. We're back at the Bricksville map, and this is a spinning globe version of it. Uh-oh, I don't know why Bob just popped out and died, but uh, that makes sense. All right, so uh, we're going to blow it up over here. All right, so there's a couple things I have in mind. There's something called the Fastest Vehicle in the Workshop by D. Crawford. I don't know if I believe it, but... Wait... Uh, okay, you know what? It's somewhat fast. Uh, can we hit it with that? I don't feel like it's up enough. We might have to hit it with like a, uh, maybe an auto cannon or something. Oh, let's see. Are we angled right? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. I think we're just going to hit the base, but this might be enough to... Never mind. That was an odd flop. Huh. Um. Yeah, okay, and it explodes now. No, this is fine. By the way, I got rid of the uh, the Star Wars explosions. I know a couple people have been complaining about that during the episodes, that all my explosions sound like Star Wars noises. Huh. You know, I kind of feel like maybe we should just drop a Tobias on it. I mean, that would be pretty frightening. I mean, we're always just blowing it up, so what happens if we just drop something really heavy on it? All right. See, this is Tobias getting his revenge on all of Bricksville. And let's go ahead and pause that there. And, oh, he might be off a little bit, and... What the? That is a really, really... Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, and... Ooh, that was a splatter. All right, so everything we've done so far hasn't worked. So we're going to get out the uh, the tornado cannon here. And we're just going to drop it on the earth. On spot it up here. Okay, how long is this thing? Okay, so if we put it right here. This should just drill down into the earth. That looks really menacing, by the way. All right, and resume. There it go. Oh, that's what I was looking. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's kind of what I was looking for. It didn't really drill down in it all, but it's burned it. 
<laughs> Look at Tobias over there. He's just kind of laughing. And, uh-oh. Yep, there we go. That's what I was looking for. All right, so we got one more thing to do. By the way, it's still spinning in the background. We're going to stick it on Tobias's head. Uh, let's put this up here. And, yeah, if we lower it about like that. Oh, no. Wow. Oh. What the heck? Oh, it started. Okay, <laughs> this just looks wrong. All right, let's go ahead and slow it down. Oh, it just punched him. Uh, put it back on him. This wasn't enough. We got to punish him, too. Uh, oh, there it goes. And he's gone. Oh, we got one more in us. Let's just stick it on top of him there. We're going to drill down through him. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that wasn't pretty. Oh, there he goes. Oh, and there it goes. Well, I feel like we've done it here today. We've uh, had destruction on a large slash micro scale. But anyways, uh, go check out the workshop creations. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time in Brick Rigs.